Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jimmy Joe. Welcome to Dynasty Wrestling World. The first episode of the new year. And we're starting off with women's action. The women's world title in a triple threat match. We're here in Baltimore, Maryland. Let's get things started. This contest scheduled for one fall is for the Dynasty Women's World Championship. It is a three-way. It is in first. Challenger number one. The Diamond Chip. Alice Seabird. Challenger number two, the Deathmatch Princess, Bad Amy. And their opponent, she is the Dynasty Women's World Champion, Layla Cyrus. This is going to be tough for Layla Siren to retain her title here. She's the longest reigning women's world champion, but she has survived a four-way. She, she's going to survive a triple threat, I have a feeling. Get this, she's going to walk out of here barely still champion. Layla Siren watches on as Alice David and Bad Amy go at it. And Layla Siren with the top of the chest. First match for Dynasty Wrestling World of the New Year. Not our first show of the New Year. Not our first match. The rest of the world of 2023. Alice 
aim. Try making bad aim and tap right there. That half crap is with the stomp. And now it's safe with a drop kick to the back of the head. Play the start. summon Layla, but Alice stopped it from happening. The Brave Buster! There's a moon so Two count. Ayla 
has Alex. Oh. Gives him skill the victory here tonight. That's for damn sure. Layla Siren. Winner in 22 minutes, 35 seconds, and the new Dynasty Women's World Champion, the Deathmatch Princess, Bad Amy. The record is broken. The history-making reign ends tonight. 
Amy! of Layla Siren. But you gotta remember, Layla Siren wasn't pinned in this match. So she has a claim to a rematch. We gotta get into our next contest. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the Canadian Qualifier Finalists about to go going face-to-face -face with each other. Let's hear what they have to say. <laughs> Wells, you, you're nothing. You're nothing, Wells, because I'm even embarrassed that I share the same name, first name as you, because I'm better than you in every single way Johnny listen at the end of the day not only do I work good under pressure because not only is it the finals so the winner can go into the world cup the winner gets the global japan universal title and january 15th I'm going to be the one that goes to the world cup no matter what You say that you're going to the World Cup no matter what, but here's the thing, Johnny. There's a chance that you ain't going to be going. Yes, you could go to the World Cup, but you're going to have to find a different way, bud. I mean, you're a big star. You could just challenge for any title, and you'll be given a title opportunity, right? Hell, you can go after Alex for the legacy title, but you want the World Cup. Here's the thing, I'm already planning on taking that spot from you, because you never wrestled in the original Global Japan. I did. I was one of the best damn technical wrestlers there. So, I never held that. And it's about damn time I do. So, Adrian. Bring your little ride-or-die buddies. Because the Canadian Dragon doesn't back down from a fight. Next week, I get my rematch clause on Anthony Perez. Where I take back the junior heavyweight championship that I had a long journey to earn. And it was just taken from me just like that. Anthony, I'm just going to tell you this outright. I'm taking that championship away from you. Because I have to. I worked so hard for that title. I don't care if I have to die. I'm coming. I'm coming home with that belt, whether you like it or not. Oh! Anthony Perez is attacking Andrew Todd. <sighs> 
See you next week, kid. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this next match, we gotta state the accolades because it's the next match. The next, we're in the next round of the American qualifiers. So let's start with Bastard Denton. He is a one-time Dynasty Dojo Zero G champion, a 2022 Dojo graduate, and he pinned Alex Saban to advance to the quarter to the qualifiers round two for America. So can he continue that momentum by beating Alex's brother? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Gavin Saban, the anti-hero, stated that he needs to win this tournament for his family, but let's state his accolades. He is a one-time Dynasty World Heavyweight Champion. A one-time Dynasty United States Champion. A two-time Dynasty Hardcore Champion. And he pinned Chris Danger to advance to the qualifiers round two. Well now, can he achieve his destiny? Let's get this matchup underway. This contest scheduled for the is a American Qualifiers Round 2 match. Here's the first, Bastard Denton! His opponent representing the Brotherhood, the anti hero, Gavin Saber. Trying to outwork Master Denton. Those elbows to the face. And there's an arm drag by Gavin. European uppercut by Master Denton. With the elbow to the back. Wait, Bastard Denton with the, with, went for a spear again. Wait, Bastard Denton. No, not this way! Steel knuckles! Bastard Denton gets the upper hand.
What's up? Remember European uppercut mid. Wait, Gavin went for the cover after Denton missed European uppercut. First pinfall attempt of the match. Wait, Gavin. Face buster. Going for the crossfire again. Girls dent on head first to the mat. Oh! Gory Cutter plants him. Reincarnation. Lance Denton down. Oh, Gavin got him! Your winner in 8 minutes 39 seconds, Gavin Saban! Gavin not worried about having a classic. He just wanted a kill. Gavin's going to the American Qualifier Finals. All that crap Denton was talking. Couldn't back it up against Gavin. Gavin picks up the win. We gotta get into our next match. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Alex Saban and Franco face to face. 
Let's see what they have to say to each other. Alex, I understand. You're the workhorse here. You're one of the best wrestlers here in Dynasty. But here's the thing. You have never been Triple Crown Champion. I haven't been Triple You are not a Triple Crown. You're not Grand Slam. I'm close to Triple Crown. If I beat you for that legacy title, I will be Triple Crown Champion. And that's what I'm going for. Is that Triple Crown? Triple Crown Champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing, Franco. You haven't been in this business as long as I have. I know the ins and outs. And I know how you, this usually ends. You make a promise and you fail. That's how, that's how this business works. So you just made that promise. You're going to fail. Two. Um, let me remind you that the last time you had a belt, Yes, you beat me for the U.S. title, but last time you had a belt, you went last. You were champion for one day before I took it back. So, Franco, you're not better than me. The only reason you won the belt back in the first place was because you had help. Okay, you can't beat me normally. So, Alex. I'm going to say this once. Kiss the legacy title goodbye. This is going to be the shortest reign of your career. Well. When that English qualifier is fun. Huh. A tag team wrestler made it to the finals and won for England. And I'm going to win the World Cup to prove to everyone that I'm not just a singles wrestler. Or I'm not just a tag wrestler. I can hold it. I can go on my own. But here's the thing. I only choose not to because I love my my brother. I love my group. But I'm going to win this World Cup. Doesn't matter. I made it this far. I'm not giving up now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the hardcore title. Miss Carter Scale Bow and Paul introducing first The challenge for the Dynasty Hardcore Championship is the best challenger representing the kingdom King His opponent, he is the Dynasty Hardcore Champion, the Menace, Yamamoto. Time for things to get violent. Right. Match is underway. And Yamamoto 
Defends the leak off the rope. Back fist, don't miss. The strength of the six foot eight cruiserweight. What a shot from Yamamoto. Champion. No. Link is dominating Yamamoto. Yamamoto starting to get control. Yamamoto sends the leak into the barbed wire board. And a huge chop from Yamamoto sends the leak to the ground. Leak out of the rope. Off rope with Yamamoto. The leak with an overhand punch. Never mind, Yamamoto in control. I'm sorry. Yamamoto about to pass like the league. Yamamoto missed that rolling lariat. Ushikaroshiru. Wait, the league about to have the bulldog choke. Locked in on Yamamoto, Yamamoto survives. Yamamoto Uchi Garoshi. Yamamoto coming off of title retention over at LAW. Versus 
retain the Dietara for title. by the board. Now the Bulldog killed, but it looks like he's another rope break. We gotta get him away from the rope because he wants to by his vision. And, uh oh, both men are now bleeding. Well, I think Yamamoto fell back to the thumbtack. And Delete falls back into the broken glass. And Yamamoto's back into the broken glass. Spinning back fist. Yamamoto. TK! The penalty kick. Neck breaker from Yamamoto. What a hardcore match this has been. Very bloody. And another back breaker from Yamamoto. The lead. Onto that barbed wire board. Oh no. Delete slams him down. But Delete's out of breath. Can't go for the cover. Delete with that chop. Delete. So I'm trying to. You can't escape. Your winner in 15 minutes, 22 seconds, and the new Dynasty Hardcore Champion, Zali! The King of Hardcore Wrestling! If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do is so instinctive and so passionate. Everything yeah, I'm a motto. So descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented. Didn't, didn't even hold the belt for 14 days. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that spitting slow spitting. But at least he got a chance to defend it once. Okay, alas, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness. A reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious. You think you're with my time? You're delirious. Is mysterious because you are behind the fake exterior inferior you know i'll always be a bit superior get off of me this ain't no humble brag i want you to hear words you can say them back i want you to feel free from the chains at last and to believe in what you got it was built to last yeah now that i've been put through i never got anyone's help i had to do it all myself Never slow up. No, I don't the league wins gold that isn't the junior heavyweight title. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. Got we gotta get into our next match. <laughs> One down. Cameron Bash has been defeated. Outsmarted him because I always was going to. And now that's all that's left are two. Max Bryant, Killer Conan. Next focus is on Max. Max, your turn to the ring is about to be short-lived because I'm going to put you back into retirement. But I'm going to make sure you don't walk back into retirement. No, I'm going to make you paralyzed. 
and put you back into retirement so that you can't walk or feel anything ever again, Max Bryan. I'm going to drop you on your head. I'm going to pin you. You're not going to move because you can't move. They're going to raise my arm in victory while you get carried out on a stretcher. And then you're going to have to think back to yourself. Should I have come back to the ring and the answer will always appear? No. Max, you and I are coming face to face next week. And then the next night is the match to end all matches. One of the most anticipated returns in history. Going to be anticlimactic, isn't it? Ireland, I am proud to represent your country in the World Cup. Proud to represent my country in the World Cup. Because, well, can't have, I'm the Irish wrestler here in Dynasty. Ray Nams tried his best, and he fell short. And I put his ass in the dirt. Just like Justin Lance and whoever qualifies for all the other countries. I'm going to be the one left standing at the World Cup. And I'm going to get my shot at Fight Fest. Now, I know Matthew Hilton's my friend and all. But nothing stands between me and the World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this next match, we got it's another American qualifier for this round two. The winner will go on to face. And now we got his opponent, the young ace, the ace of spades, representing Party Delta. Young Ace is a one-time Dynasty Legacy Champion and pinned Matthew Storm to advance to the qualifiers round two for America. Young Ace has been on a roll as of late. Can he qualify for the finals for the qualifier finals here in Baltimore? We're about to find out. Time to get this matchup underway. This contest scheduled for fall is a round two qualifier for America in the World Cup. Here's in person, the Rebel, Johnny Gallius. <laughs> And his opponent, the Ace of Spades, Young Ace. Thank you. 
knees to the ground. Eleven minutes, twenty-two seconds. Young Ace.
Young Ace picks up the win. Next week in Brooklyn, it's going to be Young Ace versus Gavin Saban in the main event. We got to get into our main event tag team match. I've been cleared for a few years now, actually. Turns out my back problem wasn't that serious as I thought it'd be. Been cleared since last year, since 2021. I found out I was cleared. I just didn't think it was right to step back in the ring. Because I retired so many times that I thought staying retired would be the best. I really did. But then Matt. And then I thought long and hard. When Matthew put Drew Boyd on the shelf, I feel like I'm probably one of the only guys that can take it to Matthew. I haven't beaten him before. He's 2-0 against me. But I always took the fight to him. Knowing that this has got to be a must-win situation... I'm not going back into retirement. I'm not. What's going to happen is this, though. When I face Matthew Hilton one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to drop him on his head with the Max O'Pain. I'm going to pin him. And I'm going to be holding the World Heavyweight title. I'm going to go to the World Cup and defend against Killer Conan. But if Matthew does make it past me, he ain't making it past Killer Conan. Which he won't make it past me. Main event, main event, tab. Douglas good old boy one fall is for the Dynasty World Tag Team Championships. Introducing first the Challengers. They're the Dynasty Dojo Tag Team Champions. Big Joe, Aiden Boss, the War Dogs. Yeah, 
The Dynasty World Tag Team Champions, the team of the Ghost and the Jester, Dead End! Match is underway. World Tag Team titles on the line. Aiden Botts. Aiden Botts now. Catch the ghost. Now monkey flip. Had a big joke. Big shot from now that the ghost and big Joe are the legal men. This is the ghost and the jester's first bit of championship gold here in Dynasty, the world tagging title. Super Duos Tournament. Off the 
rope nose. Rope bottom tail. No. Big Joey for break up the pin. Wait a minute. Aiden Boss tried killing. The ghost there, there's a super kick. Trying to go back to the A shouting wizard. Joe was also tagged in. And he dropped. Oh, he missed, I think. And kicked to the back of the head of the jester. Oh, God. Big Joe hits it again. And sidewalk slam. Ghost. And a, oh! And again! Two count. And the ghost kicks out. Another tag made. Death comes. Aiden Bot plays the Jester. The Jester kicks out at two. Double team move on Aiden Bot. By dead end. Diving splash. One. No. Just around. Oh, I think the tag is eight. No, it wasn't. The jester. Tag to the ghost. Back 
Back to Big Joe. Wait. The ghost! Stolen! Stolen! Diving splash! One, two, no! Big Joe with an ankle lock. Oh, the ghost able to get out of it. With DDT! Diving flash again, but it's going to be a rope break. Big Joe with those headbutts. Guarding the leg of the ghost. Your winners and the new Dynasty World Tag Team Champions, the War Dogs. Twenty-one minutes, fourteen seconds. The War Dogs now hold both the Dojo and World Tag Titles at the same time. First to ever do it. All new champions tonight. The War Dogs are World Tag Team Champions. Thank you for joining us here tonight. This is Jimmy Joe Good night everybody from Baltimore, Maryland.